hey guys welcome back and today we are going to take a look at channel box and attribute editor so in your channel box you have all these controls for your object so if you click any object it's going to show you all these parameters so you can move your objects around and rotate and scale them so first we're going to take a look at this visibility option so it's pretty simple if you just turn it off it's going to make your object invisible so if i click here and change it to zero it's going to turn off and your object will be invisible but if you go to outliner it will show you that your object is still here but it's hidden so what you can do is you can click here and press h it will bring back your model or what you can do is you can go back to this visibility and change the value to one So all these parameters and these controls are pretty simple. So translate are where you can move your object around in this world space. So X is for left and right. And as you can see that uh, when I move this around left and right, these values are changing. And uh, Y is up and down. And Z is in and out. So with this gizmo you can move your object around but if you want to move it to a specific value you need to use this channel box suppose if i want to move this cube in the y axis for two centimeters what we can do is we can go to translate y select here and press 2 then enter and it's going to make your cube move in y axis for two centimeters and the same thing we can do with these translate x and y and the same thing goes for the rotation and scale so if you want to rotate your object to 30 degree in the x-axis what you can do is go here and press 30 and then enter it's going to rotate so you can also rotate with these gizmo with these controls here but it's not going to be specific so as you can see that when i rotate this the values are changing with the difference of 15 degree because I have turned on my discrete rotation. So if you press Control, Shift and right click, you'll see this discrete rotate. If you turn it off, your object will rotate freely. So you'll have these plot values in your uh, rotation. But if you press Control, Shift again and right click and turn on this discrete rotation, it's going to be rotated 15 degree. Suppose you have all these values in your translate. And you want to reset everything. So to reset your transformation, what you can do is you can go to this modify. And here you can select this reset transformation. And it's going to turn everything back to zero and scale to one. So that's pretty much it for the channel box. Let's take a look at the attribute editor. So attribute editor is a more complicated version of your channel box. Now it has all these parameters we had in channel box, the translate, rotate, scale and everything. And uh, here you can change the name of your mesh. So I can change it to cube. And here in this section, in the transform, if you change it to cube, and go back to your outliner it will change the name in here as well so we have all these transformation controls in the cube and in the cube section of this mesh we have all these options we will work on when we are rendering and in the poly cube we have all these parameters so that we can change the shape of our primitive we can increase or decrease the height like this and all these options also open when you press T on your keyboard. It will open this window here. And now here you can change height, width, depth and subdivision. And at last we have this material editor. 
So we have applied a blend material and you can change the color and the transparency of your object, specularity and all these things. You can also open this material attribute by clicking on this object, right click and here you'll see this material attribute and it's going to open this. So suppose you have opened this cube or you have opened this modeling toolkit. Now you want to go to your material attribute. What you can do is you can select this, right click and click on this material attribute and it's going to open this attribute editor. And here you can go to your material editor and edit all these things you want. So that's pretty much it for our attribute editor. And we will explore all these things in details when we work further in our course and we'll apply all these uh, applications and all these functions in our project so i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching